Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's at-home Pilates routine. Today is a full body Pilates workout. We're not gonna need any equipment to work our abs, arms, upper back, glutes, and thighs. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We are going to start off in an all fours position. We're gonna walk the hands a little bit further out in front of the shoulders, spreading the fingers. Now from here, we're gonna curl the toes, pressing the palms down onto the mat. We're gonna lift the hips up toward the ceiling, stretching into a downward dog, really elevating those hips up, scooping the lower abs in, and bending the knees as much as you need to to get that lift. Flatten out the upper back, let your head hang heavy between your shoulders. Take a couple of deep breaths here, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now I'd like you to bring your knees down to the mat and as you lower them, widen your knees, bringing your big toes together and sink back into child's pose, stretching and lengthening through the spine, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. From here, we're gonna come forward again, flex the feet, bring the legs back to parallel and lift up into your downward dog, stretching and lifting Lift those hips a little bit higher if you can. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now from our down dog position, we're gonna lift the right leg up nice and high, lengthening through those right toes. And from here, we're gonna bring the right knee in toward the chest so that the shin is parallel with the mat, wrists below the shoulders. Then bring it back into your three-legged dog. Bring it forward. Covering the shin above the mat and then step it back. Inhale, step back. Exhale, come forward. Scoop belly in. Inhale, step it back, lengthening through those right toes. And as you exhale, bring your knee in toward the chest and lift your shin. Good. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, bring the knee in, scoop abs in, and we're gonna lift up and lower. Lift up, scooping abs in and lower. Lift up, scooping your belly in and lower. Up and down. We've got three, powering up those arms. Two, abs engaged, and one, step it back. Lower both knees to the mat, separate them nice and wide and push back into your child's pose. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Amazing work. Now we're gonna come forward and do the other side. So planting your palms down onto the mat, curling your toes, elevating up into your downward dog, flattening out the upper back. Lift the left leg up nice and high here and bring it forward, scooping belly in. Lengthen through those left toes and bring it in toward the chest. Lifting through the abdominal wall. Nice stretch, and then firing up those abs. Inhale, and exhale. Two more. Inhale, lengthen, get a nice stretch. Exhale, last one, lift and lengthen. Bring it in, and scoop belly in to lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Lower, abs into lift. Lower, push the mat away. We've got three, two, and last one. And step the left foot down, lift the hips. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice work. Now from here, we're gonna come forward into a plank and we're gonna do a variation of a push up here. So we're going to lower down, keeping the elbows in close to the side of the body. Hold, drop your knees and then push up. Keeping your knees on the mat, keeping the foot flexed. Then we're gonna lift back into plank and repeat. So we're lowering like one piece of steel, elbows in close to the side of the body, drop the knees and push up through the heels of the hands. Nicely done. Plank, lower, drop the knees, push up using your upper body strength. Plank, lower, hold, drop the knees, and push up. So it's um, 
modified version of a full tricep push-up. I love this because it's a little bit easier than a full push-up, but you're still really working the backs of those arms. Lowering, drop the knees, and push up, building up strength. We've got two more. Good, Whew. these are tough, keep going. And push up, nice work, take the knees nice and wide. And send the hips back, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. From here, we're gonna come forward, stretch the legs out long and lower down onto the mat. We want our legs about hip distance apart here and we're gonna stretch our arms out long. Gaze is down on the mat. We're going to lift the chest, lift both arms, draw the right arm back, stretch it forward, draw the left arm back, stretch it forward, and then pull both arms back, squeezing upper back muscles together, elevating the chest. Lower, right arm pulls back, left arm pulls back, both arms together contract and hover the chest a little higher. Good. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and knit those shoulder blades together. Nice work, keep it up. I'm gently squeezing my thighs and my glutes here as well for stability. Gaze stays down on the mat so the neck is in line with the spine. Good, inhale and exhale as you pull back. Really contract those upper back muscles. Make the movement count as you draw elbow back in toward the spine. Good, and three more sets. One, two, three, two more sets. Pull back, pull back. Together, working those upper back muscles strengthening those muscles that support good posture. Nice work, let's pull it back and lower the hands down to the mat. Amazing work. Now from here, we're going to place our forearms down on the floor. I'm gonna interlace my fingers here so that my elbows are below my shoulders and my knees are below my hips. From this position, we're going to stretch the right leg out long and flex the foot. I'm gonna lift the right leg, lower, bend the knee, and kick out. Lower straight leg, tap toes to the mat, lift, bend, and push through that heel, good. Lift, bend, extend. Tap the toes, lift, bend, extend. So you wanna keep your hips square with the mat as you move between that bent leg and straight leg position. We're focusing on firing up those right glutes. Good work, lift. Drive the heel back behind you as though you were kicking something with force. Keep the foot flexed. Keep the spine nice and long here and try not to compress the lower back. So not lifting as high if you're feeling any tension in the low back, focusing on those glutes and those hamstrings doing the work. Good. Try not to let your shoulders come up by your ears. Keep your neck nice and relaxed. And you can really move as slowly as you need to to focus on form and control and stability through this movement. Good work. Whew. Those right glutes are starting to really fire up. Stick with it. Breathing deeply and really trying to straighten that leg as much as you can on the extension, lengthening through that heel. We've got two. Last one. And bend the knee and lower the foot. Now from here, we're going to place the left forearm down on the mat and then gently straighten out the right arm I just have my right fingertips covering my left. Now make sure if your shoulders are up like this, you're ro rolling them down away from your ears. From this position, we're going to extend the right leg out long and on a diagonal. Oh, I'm fumbling with my words. 
and I'm gonna lift that right leg, lengthening. Whew. All right, from here, bring knee in toward the elbow and extend on our diagonal. Bring it in and extend. Good, abs are engaged here. Waistline is working as well as glutes and thighs. Keep your torso nice and stable. Good work. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Bring it in and extend it out on that diagonal. Now notice I'm really pointing through the toe. I'd like you to do the same and holding for a split second in that extension, making sure the thigh muscles are engaged, making sure the glutes are engaged. We've got four, three, extend. Last two, final one, extend and lower the knee. Amazing, last glute move on this right side. I'm gonna come up onto my palms for this one. Wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips, hips square with the mat. Bend that right knee, bring it up to torso height and we're pulsing here. Little pulse movement to, little pulsing movement to sculpt the, and lift those glutes. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. I know these are challenging, but they're very effective. One of my absolute favorite weightless glute exercises. Keep that knee elevated. Keep pointing through that big toe. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and hold, lift an inch higher, squeeze that booty, and lower down, amazing. Take your knees wide and give yourself a little breather before we go on to the other side. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, and as you exhale, we're gonna come forward, back onto those forearms with the elbows below the shoulders. So we're stretching the left leg out long now. Neck is long, gaze is on the floor, foot is flexed. Lift, bend, kick out behind you. Straight, lift, bend, shoot that leg out behind you, good. Breathe through it, really plug navel in. Good. I've got a mirror just behind where my camera is, and I really like to look and make sure that I've got all those checkpoints. So I'm making sure that my shoulders are rolled down away from my ears. I'm making sure that my abdominals are lifted and that my hips are square with the mat. If you don't have a mirror, you can just really focus on some of those checkpoints with my reminders and really connect with your glutes. So you wanna make sure that you're feeling this in the glutes, that you're not straining your lower back. You're really keeping it controlled and isolating this work in the lower body. Good, Whew. keep losing my um, momentum with this movement. Talking and bending and extending seems to be a bit challenging for me right now. If you lose your rhythm, just try to get back into it. Nice work, we've got three, two, last one, and lower. Amazing, you can bend your knee, so you can set yourself up for those side extensions. I'm lowering my right forearm down to the mat, covering my left hand with my right fingertips. From here, I'm extending the left leg out, on a diagonal, rolling the shoulders away from the ears. Knee in and extend through pointed toe. Knee in and breathe out to extend. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Bend and extend. Really focus on lengthening out through that big toe, keeping that leg as high as possible. Good and squeezing your bum, squeezing that side booty as you extend out. You can work into the waistline here by remembering to engage your core. Good. 
Keep that neck nice and long. We've got five, four, three. I know they're tough, but we're nearly there. Two, and one, lower down. Now bring yourself up onto those wrists, or I mean onto those palms, wrists below the shoulders. Bend that left knee, lift the left leg up to torso height, and start pulsing that big toe up toward the ceiling. <sighs> Square your hips with the mat, lift your abdominal wall, broaden across your shoulders by pushing the mat away from you. Keep going. <sighs> In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. We've got six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Lift the leg an inch higher, squeeze the bum as much as possible, and then relax it down. Now from here, take the knees nice and wide. We're gonna keep the hips elevated as we walk the hands forward, coming into puppy pose. Stretching and lengthening through that tailbone. <sighs> Drawing your armpits down toward the floor. Breathing deeply. We've got three and two and one. Walk your hands up and bring yourself into a seated position. And we're gonna finish off with our ab work. So lower yourself down to the mat, one vertebra at a time. Find the center of your mat, make sure you're nice and comfortable. Knees are bent. We're gonna bring the arms over the shoulders, plug belly in. We're going to extend the right leg up toward the ceiling as we curl and crunch up, bringing the hands toward the side of the body. Good, and then left leg. <sighs> nice work, and right leg, alternating sides. Now as I curl up, I'm resting my head on top of my shoulders and flattening the low back down onto the mat. <sighs> Drawing the navel down toward the spine peeling shoulder blades up off the mat to get that lift. Now strong arms here too. So you want to be lengthened through your fingers. The arms are perfectly straight. Good. We've got six and five. Challenge yourself by lifting a little higher each time for four. Last three. Final two. Last one, we're gonna lift and keep the leg extended. I'm gonna grab hold of behind my calf. If you can't reach your calf, grab hold behind your thigh. Lengthen that leg and stretch opposite leg out, long parallel with the mat. We're gonna switch the legs as we breathe out. And, and, nice work. Now, if this is too much with head, neck, and shoulders elevated, simply lower them down to the mat. And I want you to draw that leg in toward the chest as you contract the belly button down toward the spine. So you're stretching the back, back of the leg and you're working those abs. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Good. We've got five, four, three, two, and one, hold it here. We're gonna release our hands. Hands are gonna come behind the head or head, neck, and shoulders down on the mat for some flutter kicks. Let's go. <sighs> Little flutter kicks, keeping the toes pointed, legs engaged, abdominals contracted for five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Bring both knees in toward the chest. Take a deep breath here, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice work. Now I'm gonna stretch my left hand back, stretch my right hand back, covering my left hand with my right hand and interlacing my fingers, my thumbs rather. Now, we're gonna bring the legs into the tabletop. You've got two options for this. One, you widen the legs and curl and crunch up. Two, if you want a more challenging version, you extend the legs into a V shape. So you're either coming up with legs bent or into that V. Let's go. <sighs> Inhale 
and exhale. Thighs come together as legs come back into tabletop. Good, we're challenging ourselves by really stretching those fingertips away from the body. Good, getting that crunch. Working the upper and the lower abs here. Nice work, you can do it. We've got four, three, lift a little higher for two. Final one, we're gonna come up and hold and pulse. 10, nine, eight, abs in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring both knees in, take hold of the outsides of your feet and bring yourself into a happy baby stretch. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, draw the knees in a little closer and towards your body and then release. Cross your left leg over your right, interlace your fingers, take them behind your right thigh and just draw that right knee in, stretching out the glutes. We've got five and four, draw it in a little closer for three, for two, and for one. Lower the right foot, cross the right leg over the left, interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, hugging that left knee in towards you, stretching the glutes on the right side, breathing deeply. Hug the leg in a little bit closer, deepening the stretch for four, for three, for two, and for one. Bring both legs together, take your hands under your thighs, deep inhale and exhale, roll up into a seated position. From here, I'd like you to place your hands down on the mat, fingers turn towards your heels, and just stretch. If that's uncomfortable with your hands like this, you can turn them out to the side. Find whatever position works to get yourself into a nice back bend, opening through the chest, breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Bring yourself into a neutral position, sitting cross-legged or kneeling facing me. We're gonna lift our shoulders up by our ears, inhale and exhale, roll them down and back. Two more, lift and melt those shoulders down and back. Last one, releasing any tension. Wow, I hope you enjoyed that workout. It was challenging, but we worked all the major muscle groups in our bodies and should feel really great afterwards. I know I do. Um, well done, and I look forward to moving again with you next time.